What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Apex Legends video and today I bring you another video on possible upcoming new weapons which have been data mined from in-game files as well as a few interesting facts like maybe, just maybe, when Octane a new character will be landing, a few new discovered legendary skins for new weapons and a few other bits and bobs people. So prepare yourselves. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and like show your support you can by smashing that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily apex legend videos make sure you subscribe okay so many leaks have come many data mine files have been found and today i bring you even more information regarding apex legends going forward with possibly what is coming so i've covered numerous data mine characters coming to the game the two most recent were watson and octane I believe these are the two characters we see in the Apex Legends trailer at the end, where the commentator of the video mentions new legends coming, and we kind of see silhouettes of two new legends. Although hard to make out when we zoom in, putting two and two together, especially since all the data mine files have been revealed, lead to many people, including myself, believe that these two characters when everything adds up will in fact be Octane and Watson. Watson being the robot on the left and Octane being the guy which seems to have a jetpack on the right. Data on my files confirm Watson and Octane are upcoming characters but new information has been found since I made that last video and it's a possible release date for Octane and maybe even Watson too. So an area of files called post launch playlist files which you can see on screen now thanks to Game and Intel whose website can be found linked within the video description. These possibly reveal the release date for Octane. We see these files clearly state the following, playlist for week 8, inherit survival, survival squads, sneak peek jump pads and Octane preview. So seriously interesting. Now this can mean many things obviously but I believe it's one of two. Maybe at week 8 we will see some kind of in-game teaser for Octane, maybe via some kind of new segment or trailer, or Octane will become available to purchase in-game on the 8th week. Details at the moment though are really scarce, and we only have this to go on. Now if we do look at the roadmap, we see it states Season 2 is coming in March. No exact date in March, but it just says March. This data mined bit of info states Week 8 playlist. Week 8 will be around that March 25th to April 1st mark, so maybe people just maybe we will see Octane within Season 2 as I predicted on a previous video. But we will see people, only time will tell. Octane as a character we have seen in previous leaks will contain a stim pack ability, an item which will give you health regeneration, reload speed and a movement speed boost to a player in previous Titanfall games. So maybe that's what he will have coming in Apex Legends. And if any more information drops on these characters people I will have you covered as always on my channel. Okay so let's move on and I have covered numerous leaks on new weapons coming, mainly the Alstar and Havoc. These are the two weapons most prominent in them data mined files and even more has been found on these weapons and they include new legendary skins for said weapons, skins for both the Alstar and Havoc. The names of the legendary skins for the Alstar are as follows, The Warrior's Way, Poetic Justice, Apex Hyperdrive and Alien Invasion and with the Havoc we have the Quantum Chaos, Sonic Empire, the Dragon's Head and the Silver Storm. So not only have weapons been data mined but also legendary skins for said weapons. I mean it's just pretty obvious now that these will be coming very very soon indeed. Another seriously interesting bit of information if you didn't know is the fact that the Alstar can be seen in game now. Literally at the title menu of the game, we see Bloodhound holding the L-Star, which is something a lot of people are only just picking up on. The L-Star in Titanfall was a great weapon, an energy weapon, a part of the LMG class. But it's a weapon which basically had an energy clip which had infinite ammo, but would heat up. I honestly don't think it will be the exact same weapon in Apex Legends as the one we see in Titanfall, but I guess only time will tell guys, so we will see. Okay so we're going to move on guys and it seems as though even more weapons have been data mined. The car SMG, another weapon from Titanfall, this slow rate of fire high damage weapon was absolutely amazing, it performed more like an assault rifle but it was also murderous at close range and a whole new weapon called the Proto Hold Beam. Now for me, we all know of the car, especially being Titanfall fans, but the Proto Hold Beam to me sounds more like a weapon action than an actual weapon itself. But within the data mine files, as you can see on the screen now, it does state what I just mentioned. Really interesting. 
Now we have seen data mine files of team deathmatch, a survival mode, even bots and robots come into the game and they may be in the 12v12 or 24 and 24 modes. Interesting though, the Proto Hold Beam's description claims that the weapon drains energy from robotic targets so that you can redirect it towards enemies. So maybe it's a weapon exclusive to these limited time modes with these robots. Maybe it's a weapon exclusive to the game modes Titans will be featuring, as we did see Titans data mined a while back. And this Proto Hold Beam is an anti Titan weapon. We will see people. I honestly think maybe if we do see the inclusion of Titans as well as vehicles, which we also saw data mined, as well as robots, they will all be included in the bigger squad game modes, 12v12 and 24 and 24 and maybe this weapon, the Proto Hold Beam, will be exclusive to those mods too. But we will see people, we will see. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. Just a quick news update covering new data mined files. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like, it really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Apex videos and do want to stay up to date with the latest news leaks and just about everything, make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.